Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we have another haul because the last one did really well. For this time, so obviously I'm a student, I think we all know that now from my week in the life at Leeds and I'm always looking for like cheap clothes. That, oh my god, why do I have 46%? Okay, we're gonna... Try and make this quick. Obviously, the cheaper the better. So I have done a bit of a different haul this week. I'm doing... I saw it first haul. We've got quite a fair bit of stuff. Now, normally I knew about this brand for a while. I remember I got like a few of my coats from there and everyone was like, wow, like, how did you get, where were they from? They were, how, how come they, if I can speak. Everyone was like, um, wow, they're really nice. Where are they from? How come they're so cheap? This is this brand, it was really good. I, I don't know where I found it. It must have been like on Instagram or maybe someone did a haul on YouTube of it before. But yeah, I'm also gonna spill some tea on this brand. So basically, because I've been shopping at Isla at first for so long, I know that their prices have risen a lot. Since I first started shopping, I think they've doubled their prices for like some of the same items. But then also they'll be like, oh, 50% off. But it's really not 50% off. It's probably even more expensive than what the item was in the first place. So that's number one. Second, they do the exact same stuff. That's a pretty little thing, but they do them for cheaper. So like, even though they've inflated their prices, they do them for cheaper. So I don't know if they're getting their stuff from the same factory, Pretty Little Thing's making a bigger profit on it, but yeah. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be saying any of this. But I thought I'd let some of you know so that you can go check out some of the stuff that's nice on Pretty Little Thing and get yourself some of it all nicer at first. But anyway, very shiny today. But we'll start with the first items. So. We have this asymmetric denim skirt to start. <laughs> Okay, so I saw this on the website and I thought it looked really cool. Like it's just something a bit different, do you know what I mean? It smells a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, I thought like it'd just be something a bit different for summer. Like if you're going to like the pub for drinks with your mates during summer or just something like that. It might look weird on me because I'm short, but I got this in a size six, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, size six. Okay, so I've just been like undoing it to put it on. And it's really hard to explain. So like these are all buttons which do up here. And then to keep this bit round the waist, there's like a little button here, clear button there, and you put that there. And that's how it stays like this. I don't know, not sure how it works, but I'll show you in the trunk. And so basically as well, this was supposedly 35 pounds, but obviously it was 50% off when I bought it. So this was 17 pound 50, I think. I don't really know how I feel about this one. I feel like it's really annoying because it definitely needs to be like a lot tighter otherwise it's just a bit loose a bit boxy but i'm pretty sure this is the smallest size they did it's really weird because i keep thinking i need to pull this here but obviously then it looks a bit weird so where even is the back there it's kind of cool because it's got material underneath it's not that going to be about. showing you anything oh my god no had one of these things in it Girl. It's not the worst, not the best, but yeah. Get on to item number two. Oh my, oh my. Did I just do that? Am I alright? We have a pair of jeans. I want to try these jeans so long. So these are like the famous. Famous? I mean, they're probably not famous. These are the paper bag tie waist jeans, and I think they have them in quite a lot of shops. Okay, so this says it's from Momokrum. Again, that's just another sign showing me that's probably from a warehouse that is selling to loads of brands and they're just selling it at different prices and they're kind of, they're just straight leg at the bottom. I really love the fray hem detail as well. I will get these on and tell you what the price is. You know what? I actually quite like these. Like, they're quite flattering because you tie the waist in yourself to like how far you want it to be. These again were £35, so £17.50, which is really good for jeans. They're quite like long on the leg. Dude, I feel like I do this in every single haul. Yeah, they're quite long on the leg, which I usually prefer these jeans to sort of be a bit like cropped at the ankle, but obviously if you're taller, like that's gonna work well for you. Um, about five, four, five, five for reference. Obviously, because they're tie waist, they're quite like flexible with the sizing that you can get. Um, I really like the colour as well. So the this is the blue high-waisted paper jacket. 
paper jack, <laughs> paper bag mom jeans. They do them in like loads of different colours. So they have like dark wash, mid wash, light wash. This is the blue. So yeah, really like these ones. <laughs> what do we have next? Ooh, okay, I thought this was trousers, but it's not. So I got this hoodie and I'm really excited to try it on. Like I love sand coloured hoodies. Yeah. Ooh. She's quite big. So we have, what size was this? This is a size small. They call it the school night oversized hoodie sand. Oh, it is oversized. Okay then. I love the colour of it, always. <laughs> and I couldn't actually see what the pattern was before I saw it on the model. Then I did see it properly and I wasn't as much of a fan. But it's basically just a load of girls having a bit of fun. Disco ball. <laughs> and then it says, not on a school night. Can I just say, this is like one of the comfiest hoodies I've ever tried on. This is so comfy. I can't get over it. I really like how it looks. Like it's such a cool vibe. I feel like this looks, so this was 30 pounds. So this was actually 15 pounds. This is so nice. I feel like it looks actually looks expensive. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm getting like branded vibes from this. Wow. It's quite oversized, so. Little, you can do T-Rex arms with it. Such a good thing to put on under a big coat. This with some black cargo trousers. I don't know what I'm doing. Just to pull an outfit together, this is definitely a big yes from me. I'm really surprised. Like Everything's doing well so far. So, what do we have next? We have belted paper bag, waist, wide leg trousers. In a size six. I always want more trousers, like, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm such more a trousers gal than a skirt gal or dress gal. I just think they look so much more sophisticated. This is what we're seeing, first impressions. I'm enjoying the, the, the buckle, buckle, that's what it's called, on the belt. Um, I'm quite enjoying how it's like a frilly, oh, it's paper bag waist, isn't it? Oh, so it's the same as the jeans. And then just comes out, wide leg. Yeah, I'll put on a different top to tie the outfit together. So... I really like these. I feel like sophisticated business for men. I love the paper bag waist again. It really does cinch you in a lot more than um, naturalness. But yeah, naturalness is what I have had heels on as well. I feel like this would be a look. Like this would be a good vibe. So these are worth £28, which means these are £14. Oh my goodness me. £14 for these. That's a bargain, that's a massive bargain. They're like good quality material, you know. There's a zip up here, so this isn't what's keeping it tight, which is good, because it definitely wouldn't keep it tight. So there's a zip here, which keeps it really nice, tight to the body. And this isn't a thong body suit either, and you can't really see. Yeah, I'm really a fan of these, not gonna lie. What have we got next? Okay. We have another pair of trousers. So these are belted cargo trousers in camel. I think they might be a bit satiny. Unfortunately though, I could only get them in size eight. Belt comes by itself, that's cute. You can wear it with other stuff then. Yeah, they're kind of like- Kind of thin. They're not like normal cargo trousers. They're kind of like a satiny look. So I've just put the trousers on without the belt. They're actually really good without the belt. They're actually really, really nice. I'm just actually stunned. Are these They're real pockets as well. This would be nice to see. I really like how the button is the same colour. Like that's actually a really good idea from them. I feel like I'm getting a bit way too gassed about how all the nice these clothes are because I can't afford them all. How do you do belts? Like that? It's definitely not how you do it. Right, Harry's just got back, so I'm gonna go get him and I'll figure out how you do this. Oh, I didn't even say. That's good. These were so these were thirty pounds. However, because they were quid. no, no, they weren't because oh, fifty like percent off. They were fifteen pounds. Oh, yeah. These are definitely. Um, thumbs up. Oh yeah, do we like Harry's new jumper from Top? Is it Top Man? Yeah, Top Man. Well, yeah. uh, well, Da Vinci, but uh, <laughs> is it Da Vinci or Da Vinci? Is it Vinci? That's not. That's how you say it, with friend. No, I'm joking. It's uh, it's Dior, but um. Oh right, so I turn these on now actually. Well, the sun is. Yeah, the sun is. I might even keep these, you know, because I you actually need, need, need a new color. pair, like a proper pair. Right, I haven't even looked in the mirror on these. Are they fat? I like them, but like this thing in they the way. They are way, massive. <laughs> I feel like sunglasses don't look good on me unless my hair's like up. I can't tell whether I like them or not. These were I can't tell what was 20 about. pounds, so they were tenner, which is expensive. Okay, well, I think they're kind of cool, but I feel like my head's too small. Are they gonna let me give it back like that? No, okay. So this is like a mesh black with red dragon detailing bodysuit. Oh, size eight. They must have not had a size six. Oh, 
We can't breathe. It's very see-through though. It's more mesh than I thought it would be. And I thought the dragons would be in like on the top, but they're not. They're like in the material. It's kind of high neck as well. I love it. Oh. It's £12.50. Ah, oh, it's so nice! Oh, don't go anything else, I don't want to keep going. So, it's a bodysuit, one of the ones that clips up at the bottom. And it was really hard to do. It's a thong bodysuit once you've done it up. So, now it doesn't feel tight, but like it was actually really hard to do it up. And also, this neck bit is really tight, so I don't know, some of my makeup might have come off, but... <laughs> Obviously, it is very see-through though, but that's why we've got bikini on underneath. I'm kind of loving it. This bad boy is frill hem short sleeve top. It's size six. Sorry. So it looks like this. Ooh, it's kind of a weird material. I was expecting it to be cotton. It's quite a good dinner top because it covers up the stomach. It's kind of like a, it's the crepe material and I just really like, mix between scuba and crepe material and I kind of don't like that. It kind of makes, I just don't really know why. I just don't like it. This was 10 pounds. Well, it was 20 pounds and this was now 10 pounds. It's really, um, I don't have much room to maneuver. Suffocating is what you're thinking of. Yeah, I'd wear this with like jeans or like a nice skirt. The frills are nice, like they're not too frilly. I feel like, you know when you're getting a blood, uh, blood test? What is it? A blood pressure test. I feel like that. It's alright. It's just nothing really special. Okay, so this is a dress, but it's one of those dresses that you... What do you call it? I just wanna... I'm... I'm <laughs> you put on over the top of something, so it's like a pinafore kind of thing. I might just put... I'm gonna put it on over this top, you know. This was a size 6. Or give her a go. So... This would look sick for work, I've decided. The top, I like it now. Very much feeling that vibe. Or for sick form, you know? Girlie's still in sick form. The frills might get in the way of this, but we're just gonna go with it. It's quite short, actually, isn't it? Oh. It looks like you're serving tea at Buckingham Palace. If the top wasn't frilly, then it probably would complement the figure more. I actually don't mind it. This is, oh. this was 15 pounds for this. Not gonna lie, I don't think this is worth 15 pounds. The material is really, like, thin. If this was a scat in the top. That'd be a yes, but the dress is a baby. So we have another bodysuit. This is like a high leg snake and high neck bodysuit as well, I think. Ooh. Weird material, weird material. It's kind of shiny. I was expecting it to be like cotton. Yeah. It feels like my flares. A size six, yeah. Oh, it's thigh, high thigh bodysuit. I don't think I like the colour, but actually quite nice. The thigh high bits aren't that thigh high but I guess that's because my flares are quite high waisted anyway. It's kind of like slimming. It's quite streamlined. So this was £25 which means it was the same as last one wasn't it? £12.50. Did you miss the camera? Huh? No, you just, missed being on it. No, I'm just standing. Um, so yeah, I do like this one. It's a clippy one again. Clippy one again. So we have another, I think this is bodysuit. It's a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. A one sleeve neon bodysuit. Wow. I don't even think it's coming up on camera. It's coming up on camera more like greeny. This is like yellow. Really, really yellow. If you have this on, I mean, Harry thought he was going to like it, but he didn't realise it was one shoulder, so. He now isn't a fan. It's all right. Like, it's definitely not my favourite. I don't really know. It's not very slimming. It's quite, like, fattening. Oh, my God, they've sent me the... <laughs> oh, this didn't look the same. I ordered a neon lime ribbed bodysuit. Look, it's a long sleeve and ribbed bodysuit. They haven't given They haven't given me the same thing that I ordered. So, this is a big fat no. For £7.50. It's that nice. So we have just a ribbed knit jumper. What is Oh, oh. Kind of long. I feel like this would look nice with a white denim skirt. We'll just try it on with the flares. We'll see. See what it looks like. Oh, small to medium. Small to medium. So, <laughs> it's a bit baggy. Probably like a grandma. Also, this smells like rabbit hutches. If anyone knows what rabbit hutches smell like, this smells like that. And that neon one smells like sick, like pure sick. Should we try and tuck it in? It's kind of similar to that thing I tried on in Topshop, isn't it? Have you not watched my vlog? Ah! Oh my... A fake fan! So this was a tenner, which I mean... It is an iron. My stomach looks weird because I've tucked it in. Look, it's all bunching up. It's not the best, not the worst. Tenner is quite good for, like, knitwear. The girl that was wearing it on the website looked a lot nicer in it. It looked like a different colour as well. It was a lot more brown. This is kind of... Okay, it's brown. But it was darker brown. We have... Final item. I don't really own anything in this pattern. And I thought it'd be nice. This is just not the material that I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like this, like a knit. So it's like a, the dog's tooth collar 
what is that the word? I don't really know. Dog's tooth jumper. It's a crop jumper. It's size six. I just thought it was gonna be like knit and I thought that could look really cute. So we have final outfit on. I actually like it now that it's on. It looks kind of like, I don't know, it feels sophisticated. You can't put your hat arms up if you're gonna wear this. It's cropped. You know it's cropped, but it's too cropped. So if you put your arms up, it comes all the way up. So that's just a bit of an error with the way they've designed it because the sleeves are so low connected to this. And also the sleeves are very um, balloony, which looks kind of weird and clown-like, but the vibe is cool. I like it with the flares with a tenner, so that's really good for a tenner. But that finishes off the haul today. Yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this haul. I enjoyed filming it, and this was so much cheaper than the pretty little thing one. Like, this just, I saw it first, it's definitely somewhere to go if you need a bargain, you want something cheap. If you did enjoy it, please do give me a like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I have a new video out. But yeah, I'll see you very soon in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.